what are the chances we see the character of T'Challa in the MCU moving forward? And what is it like having to balance uh, loyalty to a fan base and to a performer as regal and elegant as Chadwick Boseman, yeah. along with the future of that franchise, that character, and of Wakanda? Yeah, uh, it's a great question. I will say the chances that you see T'Challa in our, I'm not, I'm not hedging my bets. I'm being quite honest. Uh huh. T'Challa is, you will not see T'Challa in the MCU 616 universe. We could, we couldn't do it. I mean, I will say mm-hmm. when, to, when Chad passed, it was a real conversation we had with Kugler about what do we do? And it was a fast conversation. It wasn't weeks, it was minutes of, we have to figure out how to move this franchise on without that character. Because I think we all feel so much of T'Challa in the MCU on the screen, not in comics, right? Um, mm-hmm. Is tied to Chadwick's performance, is, is what he brought to that role, both on and off screen, I would argue. So as hard as it is narratively to figure out what to do, because it's, it's a big hole, um, uh at no point did we consider recasting him mm. so so the so the challenge for black panther wakanda forever is telling a story without t'challa and i think it's a challenge we're up for and obviously we're in the middle of it and and we're figuring it out and it's it's so far i think what we're getting is is great but the challenge of the movie i think is to entertain people but there will be a level of I think catharsis and people coming back to this universe without that guy, because that guy and that universe to me are one and the same. So as filmmakers and storytellers, you have to figure out how people are going to feel going into your movie and what you want that movie to say about that guy who's not going to be in your movie. Mm. Yeah, What's up, what's good? What's up, 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 if you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me Sharon is caring. Absolutely. And we need, and Sharon, this ain't even about me. Share these videos as much as possible because we need light out there in regards to Chadwick Boseman, T'Challa, Black Panther, all of it. All that. Um, We're going to do that. Uh, Yes, this is a, let me go down the list. This is a boycott Black Panther 2 video in a as a way to get T'Challa recast and Chadwick Boseman properly honored. I feel like I got to say all that. Uh, but, but, like I just said, this is a Boycott Black Panther 2 video as a means to get T'Challa recast and Chadwick Boseman honored. Cool, cool. Okay, all right. So, everything that I'm getting ready to tell you, you can go fact check. Like I said, this me, I'm finna put, I'm finna be the question. I'm looking at this board. I got a lot of stuff up here, and I'm looking. So let's go. Y'all look with me. February 16, 2018, Black Panther comes out. We got that. What I should say, though, is January 2018, Avengers Endgame finishes filming. As I say this, write this down. Because <laughs> you're going you're gonna to need to look at it, too. You're going to be like, wait a minute. So, January 2018, Avengers Endgame finishes filming. February 16th, 2018, Black Panther is released. Cool, cool. May 16th, 2018, we got this cover. Reports Nate Moore telling Ryan Coogler that Black Panther is a mantle as much as it is a person. Some half-truths there. May because I know it's quite a few people don't look at we got this covered as being a reliable source. I do, I get that. However, I do believe where there's smoke, there's fire. Let's continue. May 18, two days later, 2018, comicbook.com reports Nate Moore told Ryan Coogler 
not to be married to the child as Black Panther. It's just a mantle. You get real comfortable with yourself, don't you, Nick? Cool. So we go to Wikipedia because we want to see what's going on. Per Wikipedia, Ryan Coogler negotiated to return as director in the following months after Black Panther was released and Marvel Studios officially confirmed the sequel's development in mid-2019. I mean, Ryan Coogler went to work on a script in 2019. That go to work, yeah, we're getting all that ready. Mid-2019. November 18, 2019. CBR.com reports that Bozeman wants nothing to do with a Disney Plus series. Somebody had to ask him for him to say he didn't want anything to do. But why would you ask Chad with Bozeman? Because by now, we talking Marshall, 42, get on up, and Black Panther. What would make anybody think that dude was going to want to be a live action anything on the TV screen? I ain't asking, I'm just asking. I'm going to do a lot of asking on this. So anyway, January 23rd, 2020, Cosmic Book Dot news states Chadwick was unhappy with the direction of his character. So we know people saying it's just a mantle in 2018, three months after the movie was released. He's being asked about doing shows on Disney Plus as of November 2019. Nevertheless, I digress. Let's keep going. August 28th, 2020, Chadwick Boseman passes away. December 8th, 2020, per Urban Faith, Derek Boseman outlines Marvel's intention and motivation for doing away with T'Challa. Because Derek was never clear about what they were going to do with T'Challa. He said... They're going to move the mantle. Kevin Feige hadn't made his statement yet. He hadn't. Kevin Feige hadn't did anything. How did Derek Bozeman know they were going to move the mantle on December 8th when we didn't know what Marvel was planning to do with the character until December 10th? Nevertheless, I digress. Because I'm saying December 10th, 2020 is when Kevin Feige went and made his statement and said that due to his portrayal being iconic in and of itself, they will not be recasting the role of T'Challa. But Derek basically told us that two days earlier. How did Derek know? Ring of Verse, November 14th, 2021. Nate Moore states that this, the decision, the decision to not recast was made in a matter of minutes between he and Ryan Cooper. Soon as they found out Chadwick Boseman had passed. Feel free to replay this video. Feel free to write down everything that I said. Feel free to go click on the links so you can go look at the information for yourself and discern it for yourself. Because like the pastor say in church on Sundays, go read the Bible for yourself. Don't take my word for it. That's how we get down over here. Now, let me talk to some of you anti-recasters because I talked to a young lady. I'm not going to reveal her name, but she claims to be an anti-recaster, but she's not. This was a conversation between two adults. Boycott Black Panther 2. She being an anti-recaster. You know what? Some of y'all that say y'all want the character recast. Some of y'all that say y'all don't want the character recast. You don't mean that. What you mean is you don't want the character recast right now. You know what? I can understand that. I absolutely can. Here's what I'm looking at. We didn't ask them for this movie right now. We didn't. When people say we could wait five to ten years for a recast, you know, we honestly could have waited five years for Black Panther 2 to hit the big screen. Nobody asked for this movie right now. What was the rush? 
No, that's a fair question. Chadwick Boseman passed August 28th, 2020. They were set to start filming Black Panther 2 in mid, in mid, uh, what? Mid 2021. That was them knowing he was dead. If you grieving, cause let some people tell it, they got a right to grieve. Unlike the cast and crew from Fast and the Furious 7. As a matter of fact, let's talk about this cast and crew grieving. I did some looking. There were only three people from Black Panther that Chadwick Boseman had a previous working relationship with. Sterling K. Brown from Marshall. Martin Freeman and Florence Kasumba from Captain America Civil War. You know, if you go back and you look through Chadwick Boseman's filmography, he ain't worked with nobody else but them. You need me to say that one more time. The only actors he had worked with previously prior to Black Panther were Sterling K. Brown, Marshall, Martin Freeman, and Florence Kasumba from Captain America Civil War. He didn't work with anybody else. And the people that he worked with on Black Panther, it was only four months. Four. When he started shooting Captain America Civil War, he was 39. When he started shooting Black Panther, he was 41. And we literally sit up here and say them people knew him more, better than his family and friends. Share the video. Share the video. I get why they say it. Because some of us do work with people for 10 years straight. Those are our coworkers. And if you work with somebody for 5, 10 plus years... Subject to say some of them might know you better than your family members do. But four months? Four months. Four. That's 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 what we're doing. So when y'all say y'all don't want him recast, say you don't want to recast right now. And if you wanted him You'd have been fine with a recast in five years. I got a question for you. I said, I'm playing the question today. Why couldn't Marvel have, in after Chadwick Boseman passed, two and a half years down the road, why couldn't the House of Mouse, Disney, have given us a Chadwick Boseman movie biopic? Two and a half years after he passed. Because I'm going to be honest with you. It's a, it's a documentary out there about Christopher Reeve. It is. About an hour and 45 minutes. And they did shout him out. They did do a special for him on ABC. It is. I'm not lying when I say any of that. You can go look. It's a whole documentary out there about Christopher Reeve. Why we couldn't get one by Chadwick Boseman? Why we couldn't get... If Chadwick Boseman could be Marshall, why the actor that takes up the role of T'Challa couldn't be Chadwick Boseman? Because Chadwick Boseman is playing James Brown, Jackie Robinson, and Thurgood Marshall. Why we can't get an actor to play Chadwick Boseman? in his movie biopic, two and a half years after he passed, which would have been this year, right? Cast and crew, still do your thing. You in mourning. You ain't even got to be in this movie. And then take that same actor that was in that movie bio, and since you borrowing from Deadliest of the Species and Power, you could have slid him right, right, you could have slid him in right then and there. And it would have explained why he looked different. Perfectly honest with you, as I've stated to other people, as a comic book fan, I'm insulted. I really marvel, feel like you spitting in my face using the same story arc that would have explained why he looked different. The same story arc that has him in a stasis chamber for damn near four to five issues. The same story arc where you could have brought him back in Black Panther 3 and nobody would have said anything. Instead of doing that, you use the story arc to kill him off. And you borrow from Avengers versus X-Men. You think black people don't read comics? That's part of my problem with you. Is you do think black people don't read comics. Enough to check you when you do stuff like that. I'm that one. Boycott Black Panther 2. Let's stop having movies where black people being divided. Well, let's stop having black movies where black people being pitted against one another. We ain't have to do that. This ain't Oakland. This ain't Compton. This ain't Detroit. This ain't Chicago. This ain't the Bronx. This ain't Atlanta. This is Wakanda. We didn't need to have them stories from the United States told in Wakanda. 
I caught you slipping. The sad part about it is you so damn comfortable with what you're doing, you think you're going to get away with it. That's why you don't want to hear the word boycott. No, boycott is what it is. Boycott is what it's going to be. We say what we mean and we mean what we say. We are boycotting this movie. And let's be perfectly, perfectly, perfectly clear. Whether people choose to use the word boycott or not, Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, Bob Chappie, I'm talking to you. They ain't got to use the word boycott. Do you know what it means if they don't go see this movie? Whether they were saying boycott, recast, stay home, I'm chilling, I'm too high, I'm too drunk, I'm too wasted, I'm too full, I'm too sleepy. Whatever excuse they're going to give you, they boycott the damn movie. And it's all because of y'all. Marvel. Kevin Feige. Bob was right. You go woke, you go broke. Because you ain't interested in telling a decent story anymore. At that point in time, you're just interested in lining your pockets, which is why you got Chadwick Boseman's face painted all over that building when you told people you weren't going to use his image. Yes, you are trying to profit off of his death, so I am going to do everything I can to make sure this movie fails. As far as the cast and crew got, if they had any integrity, they'd have said, don't put that damn Muriel up there. But they ain't got no integrity because they capping for the bag too. You know what? I like for everybody to be great. But you know what you won't do? Not only will you not eat off of my plate, I will not let you eat off of Chadwick Boseman's plate going forward. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Boycott Black Panther 2. Stay home. Don't watch. Boycott Black Panther 2. Don't go see Black Panther 2. Stay home from Black Panther 2. Get you some sleep instead of going to go see Black Panther 2. As a matter of fact, let's go do this one. Because I ain't heard this from nobody else except my fellow boycotters. Instead of going to go see the movies, because I'll put that link in the comment section too. Instead of go seeing the movie, you say you love Chadwick Boseman so much. His death bothered you. It hurt. You know what he stood for because you heard his commencement speech at Howard. Because you heard his interview on Sirius XM Radio. The same money that you were going to spend to see Black Panther 2, November the 11th. Send that money to the Chadwick Boseman School of Performing Arts. You can't go wrong if you're talking about supporting Chadwick Boseman because that's exactly what he was about. Multiplying, not subtraction. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.